I, I want to start with Corbin Burns and the Brewers yeah. because, man, I was – this kind of pissed me off, to be honest. Um, I'm a big fan of Corbin Burns, and he won a Cy Young Award just a couple of years ago. He continues to be one of the best pitchers in the game of baseball. And the Brewers decided to go to arbitration with him. And just a quick synopsis here, arbitration is is – Basically, the process that the two sides, meaning Corbin Burns and, and the Milwaukee Brewers, couldn't come to an agreement on what he should get paid for this one season, right? So you go to the, through the process of having a neutral arbitrator figure that out. It is a nasty process. And the Brewers went through this process with their best player, their best pitcher, one of the best pitchers in the game of baseball, over 750 thousand dollars and my question is is it worth ruining a relationship with one of your guys over seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars the the sad thing is the, the brewers won the arbitrary yes i know meaning but what do you win you get seven hundred fifty thousand dollars but you piss off a guy that now ruin, might want to leave you ruin a relationship right you want to feel when you're with an organization and, and this is also like i would imagine a struggle for some athletes because you adapt the team and the franchise and you want to feel like you're a part of it, but it is still a business and you kind of forget that sometimes. And we see that with trades, with situations like this, where players don't feel like they're getting paid what their value is. But when it's something under a million dollars, under a million dollars, you are fighting over. Just pay the man, make him happy. It's only going to help you in the future. The Brewers, they, they, they blamed Corbin Burns Ridiculous. for not making the playoffs. Ridiculous. The audacity of the Brewers. He's your best player. Yeah. He's your best team. Yeah. You, you want to find out the reason for not making the playoffs? How about we start at the trade deadline where you shipped out your best reliever yeah. and your problem was offense and you did absolutely nothing and you decided to get worse at the trade deadline? Don't blame him. Mm -mm. Don't blame Corbin Burns for this. Unbelievable. It just pissed me off and it like – I feel like multiple times I find myself lately talking about owners and doing it the right way because there's teams out there that we're really getting to see. Like I can point to the teams that the owner is a fan and wants to win. Yeah. The Mets, the the Padres, yeah. the Dodgers, though they didn't have their typical offseason, the Dodgers clearly want to win and are willing to do it. And and the Braves, and they're all doing it in different ways, but you know they want to win. And then I can point to teams that don't. And I don't think the owners are in it for the right reason. And, and the Brewers have to be one of those to this point. I mean, congratulations on your $750,000. You're now going to probably lose Corbin Burns. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know for that. I, I don't know that to be a fact, but I can tell you he's not happy. Mm -mm. And it, it just is, it's frustrating that a team and an organization really, to me, showed its true colors mm -hmm. by saying, okay, yeah. I'm an owner of a baseball team, but this is an investment for me. This is a money-making thing for me. Not, I want to I wanna win, and I'm willing to do what it takes. Imagine, just imagine, a guy like Steve Cohen taking one of his best players to arbitration and just battering him over $750,000. It wouldn't happen. It's unheard of. What I'm curious about is, like, what are some of the things you think are said in these arbitration hearings? Because you're going to hear things that you can't take back. I know. I I've heard from a lot of guys. Um, <laughs> it's it's Brutal? really bad. Yeah. Um, I, I remember, um, I think Sean Casey has told this story publicly. Um, it's not anything bad on him. But I just remember hearing um, Sean Casey, who I, I've played with my brother in Detroit, played kind of all over the place, and now does great stuff on TV. And I remember talking to him at one point. He's like, I went to arbitration, and we were outside of the room, and me and the organization were just chopping it up, having a blast, talking about winning games and some great stories. And then we went in there and they ripped me apart. Yeah. They made me feel like I was the worst baseball player of all time. I was literally almost in tears at how bad they were making me feel. And then we walked out and they were like, all right, man, like, can't wait to see you tomorrow. And it's just like, that's not how life works. No. Like that might be how that might be how you want to win in the courtroom, but that's not like how you treat a human being on your team that you want to be in a good place. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. It just, it's bad in there. It gets and, bad. And for that reason, I don't see this Brewers Burns situation working out in the long run, especially if he heard things similar to that and you saw and heard his reaction 
at spring training. I, I now I now hope it doesn't. Yeah. Not because I don't want to see Corbin Burns with the Brewers, because I want him to prove a point in a way. Like, I would have loved to re-sign with you guys, but you ruined this relationship, and now yeah. I'm going to go elsewhere and shove against you guys for the rest of my life. Period. End of story. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.